Welcome to clickmyproject.com Let's discuss about the product. Our product is low power pulse triggered flip flop design based on a signal feed through scheme. Basically, flip flops are the basic storage elements used to extensively in all kinds of digital designs. In particular, digital designs nowadays have an adapt intensive pipelining techniques and employ many flip flop modules such as register flip flop shift registers and first in first out. It is also estimated the power consumption of the clock system which consists of clock distribution networks and storage elements is as high as 50% of the total system power. Flip flops thus contribute a significant portion of the chip area and power consumption to the overall system design. Pulse trigger flip flop that is P flip flop because of its single latch structure is more popular than the conventional transmission gate and master slave based flip flops in high speed applications. Besides the speed advantages, its circuit complexity and simplicity lowers the power consumption of the clock tree system. A P flip flop that is pulse trigger flip flop consists of a pulse generator as shown in the paper you can see that for stroke signal and a latch for data storage. If the triggering pulses are sufficiently narrow, the latch acts like an edge trigger flip top since only one latch as opposed to two in the conventional master slave configuration is needed. A pulse trigger flip flop is simpler in circuit complexity. This leads to higher toggle rate for high speed applications. Pulse trigger flip flops allows time borrowing across clock cycle boundaries and future generation circuitry requires delicate pulse width control to cope with possible variations in process technology and signal distribution network. A statical design framework is developed to take the factors into account. In this brief, we present a novel low power pulse trigger flip flop design based on a signal feed through. Observing the delayed discrepancy in latching data 1 and 0, the design manages to shorten the longer delay by feeding the input signal directly to an internal node of the latch design to speed up the data transition. This mechanism, mechanism is implemented by introducing a simple pause transistor for extra signal driving. When Combined with the pulse generation circuitry, it forms a new pulse trigger flip flop design with enhanced speed and power delay product that is PDP performances. Let's see the system flow architecture of the product. This is the system flow architecture of low power pulse trigger flip flop design based on a signal feed through scheme. So, in the circuit, first we are initializing the design and for the design we are using D flip flop. Basically, we know there are a lot of flip flops like SR flip flop, D flip flop and JK flip flop. So, among this we are choosing D flip flop for the design as in the paper and we are using the Tanner Space tool as a platform tool for the design of D flip flop and the design methodology is used for the DFIP is CMOS so we know what is CMOS the combination of CMOS and NMOS so by using the CMOS technology we are implementing the DFIP design and we are generating the pulse generator circuit so we are combining the pulse generator circuit with the design DFIP and then the pulse is generated from the pulse generator to the circuit that is this is given as an input to the flip flop design so given pulse input is triggered so finally the output coming from the flip flop is pulse triggered flip flop hence we are calling that pulse triggered flip flop because the signal coming out from the flip flop design is based on triggered pulse basically we know what are the triggering methods 
we know there are triggering methods such as pulse triggering, edge triggering and among them we know positive by edge triggering, negative edge triggering. So after that to the design the circuit we are giving and signal feedback as shown here. So by the signal feed throw after applying to the circuit the desired output is obtained. That means finally the obtained output gives us the low power consumption. The low power consumption which is obtained by the way of the result produces with delay time reduced. That means for the output signal which is obtained with the reduced delay time. So by that process the power consumption is reduced. So this is our concept to reduce the power consumption through the system. So finally we are getting the reduced power consumption output signal. This is the main frame of the Tanner tool. We know there are four methodologies in Tanner's based tool like S edit, W edit, L edit. So for S edit we are using this frame for the design of circuits. So our design of deep loop plug is performed in this S edit. Our design is as we already discussed. Our design is based on CMOS technology. So in this frame first we have to create a new project and then we are creating new cell module. The cell module we can rename as cell 0 or cell 1 or cell 2 anything else. So for our project name we can name as anything like uh, D flip flop or flip flop design. So after that in the desired new cell we have to start to the implementation. That means we have to we need like there is with, uh, with containing of transistor resistance and other power sources. So before that we have to upload the libraries through the add button. So after we adding all libraries we can start to design the flip flop. So after we designing we have to add power source which we have to take the output or input message. Finally we have to click the run button to execute the design. So after that we will get the waveform in the W edit. That means waveform edit. In that frame we can see the input and output and measures of the desired circuit. So finally by the design of S edit we can get the output waveform in W edit. Thank you.